On came the whirlwind, like the last, but fiercest sweep of tempest blast. On came the whirlwind, steel gleams broke, like lightning through the rolling smoke. The war was waked anew, three hundred cannon mouths roared loud. And from their throats, with flash and cloud, their showers of iron threw. Beneath their fire, in full career, rushed on the ponderous Courroisier. The lancers couched his ruthless spear, and hurrying as to havoc near, the cohorts' eagles flew in one dark torrent, broad and strong. The advancing onset rolled along forth, Harbingered by fierce acclaim, that from the shroud of smoke and flame pealed wildly the imperial name. But on the British heart were lost the terrors of the charging host, for not an eye the storm that viewed changed its proud glance of fortitude, nor was one forward step stayed. As dropped the dying and the dead, fast as their ranks and thunders tear, fast they renewed each serried square. And on the wounded and the slain closed their diminished files again, till from their line scarce spears length three, emerging from the smoke they see helmet and plume and panoply, then waked their fire at once, each musketeer's revolving knell, as fast as regularly fell, as when they practiced to display their discipline on festal day. Then down went helm and lance, down were the eagle banners sent, down reeling steeds and riders went, Corslets were pierced, and pennons rent, and to augment the fray, wheatled full against their staggering flanks. The English horsemen's foaming ranks forced their resistless way. Then to the musket knell succeeds the clash of swords, the neigh of steeds, as plies the smith his clanging trade against the cuirass rang the blade. And while amid their close array the well-served cannon rent their way, and while amid their scattered band raged the fierce rider's bloody brand, recoiled in common rout and fear, lancer and guard and cuirassier, horseman and foot, a mingled host, their leaders fallen, their standards lost.